with Angie Morris close to my heart and I wanted to show you a technique that is very easy very beautiful to make and does not require a whole lot of um, things that you need to purchase in order to make this beautiful page so let's go ahead and get started this is what I will be teaching you today on this technique in order to do this, you have the Distress Oxide, which is what I'll be using, the Mustard Seed, the Black Soot, and the Solar Flare Glitter. I also will be using Stencil from Stencil Pack number one, and you can get all these items from my Close to My Heart page. And you get three stencils with this packet so let's go ahead and get going i place my stencil on my page i use some painters tape right there to um, go ahead and secure my uh, stencil so what I did was I went ahead and took my black soot and I'm going to just do part of the page. As you can see, I'm doing it in a circular manner. And as I get closer to the leaves of, or the petals of the flower, excuse me, I'm going to be very careful. I don't want to necessarily come down here where I can. Let's try that. Let's go down here. We'll do it all the way down here. So, as you can see, I'm just coloring it all in. Definitely hold down your stencil so you can make sure you have good coverage and you don't have any skips here i got a little carried away with the dark black soot but i can correct that not a worries and as i get closer to that leaf that uh, that i'm sorry that uh, yeah that leaf that is close to this edge i'm going ahead and doing little small strokes table jiggles you can certainly put more tape You can do it as light or dark as you'd like. You can actually do the whole page if you want to and just not um, do it as dark and kind of fade it into the uh, rest of the page. I'm going to go ahead and come up here. I think for this one I'm just gonna do I might just go ahead and let me go ahead and do this one I love this technique and I love the distress oxide because the colors are so rich see I'm getting real close to that to this one right here so I'm kind of gently in small strokes kind of putting the color down and I can kind of go a little bit crazy here. I always get ink in my fingers. Do you? Okay. So now I've got my black on here. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my yellow mustard seed. And I'm going to blend this. So... 
Remember that area that I had that was uh, a little too dark? I was able to actually blend it in. There we go. I can make it a little bit bigger if I want to. A little smaller. I'll do some up in here. So now I've got all that done. Like I said, this is a nice, quick little project. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my solar flare. And we do have these palettes. We sell these palettes. So I'm just going to take some and just kind of sprinkle it on there and just spread it out. You can do it flat like this. I actually find that doing it at a like a 45 degree angle it doesn't snag the uh, stencil. So I would do it at a 45 degree angle. So it snagged it there, didn't it? Do a little bit up here. Do a little bit here. And I can put a little bit more if I want to. And there we go. And so now here, let's do the big reveal. And here it is. Kind of went a little over on the top, but that's okay. I can put a little border up there. I can put a picture on there. Um, and that will take care of that. I can take my eraser and erase that when I'm... When I'm done with the video, I'll just erase that and we'll end um and put a pit or put a picture on there. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that rich and beautiful? So I will put the uh, materials that I used and the link to my page if you would like to um, replicate this um, page layout and you put it side to side. You can do something like this. Let me pull the camera up a little bit. And you can see how absolutely beautiful that looks. And that would be your two-page layout. And then you can just put your pictures in here. So, there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, make sure that um, let me know. Please like, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate that. Until next time, bye.